so now we're going to do corners. And corners is the exact same idea as with edges. You're going to have a buffer position, which for old Pachman is right here. And from there you're going to shoot to every other piece on the cube. And you're going to do that with the Y perm, which is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. And with that you swap these two edges and we'll swap these two corners. And you're gonna be moving your buffer position here. So whenever you have a piece on the cube that goes right here. Say for example this one, you'd memorize D R F you'd memorize F R D <clears throat> Then you'd move that up into the course to, to the receiving position, do the F perm, and then move it back down. It really doesn't get much simpler than that. What you're going to run into exactly half of the time you solve Rubik's Cube blindfolded is you'll run into a position into a situation where you will do the T perm or Y perm an odd number of times, like not an even number, an odd number of times. And you might think this isn't a big d deal. But I still remember, whenever we did the T-perm, we not only swapped these two edge pieces, but we also switched these two corner pieces. And so what that odd number does is it leaves us with these two corner pieces swapped, but all the edge, edges solved. And so that leaves us a prob with a problem, because you'll be solving edges first and then corners. And so if after edges these two corners are swapped, then it won't be the same as in your memorization, and it'll mess you up. And so that's called parity. So what we're going to do to fix that problem is use an algorithm, which is a PLL algorithm that you might know, and it is U R U2 R prime U2 R B prime R prime u prime r u r b r2 and what that does is it swaps these two pieces and it swaps these two pieces and if you'll remember when you did the y perm you swapped these two corners as well as these two edges now if you have an odd number of edge swaps then you're automatically going to have an odd number of corner swaps and so if you do a the Y perm an odd number of times, it'll also swap these two pieces, and your issue will be fixed. So that is the method in its most basic and simple form. However, that way it is very slow. There are many ways that you can make it faster. The first of which are by the use of the by the use of these things called omega snaps. And it's a really cool word, but really all it is is it's an algorithm that swaps, or that just flips two edges. And so it saves a lot of time if you have a situation like that. So instead of having to shoot to that buffer piece there, move it back, set it back up, shoot the buffer piece back, and undo, you can just do a short algorithm and it'll be done. And it's, in case you wanted to know, it's based on this one algorithm, which is m prime u, m prime u, m prime u, m prime u. And it swaps these four edges. Or not swaps, it flips. And so these are all based upon these algorithms. These are the ones that I know. You have just that one, which flips these two, flips these two. And you have this one that's M U prime, M U prime, M U two, M prime U prime, M prime U prime, M prime U two. And flips these two. The oh well. 
Yeah. And then you have this one that flips these two, which goes m u prime m u prime m u prime m u two m prime u prime m prime u prime m prime u prime m prime. And then you have a one that flips these four on the top that goes m u prime m u prime m u prime m u prime m prime u prime m prime u prime m prime u prime m prime u prime and you can get all fancy with the stuff that you can do with these like there's this one that i know for m2 r2 that goes like that with simple setup moves and then undoes it and it flips these four in the middle layer but that's pretty much all you're going to need to know especially with the use of setup moves like as you saw earlier if you have a situation like this, then you do one of those setup moves algorithm and fix it. The same exists for corners, but they're not as worthwhile learning. And they're pretty much the thing that you would, might know for the 3x3 three three for the last uh, step, where you just do r prime d r d prime and so on and so you can use that if you want to or not I don't think it makes you much faster but the real way to get faster with this method is to use different algorithms to move the pieces from place to place like for example you use the t-perm to get to this edge from this edge to here. And so if you want to get this piece to here, you have, you have to do something like L prime, little d, L prime, t-perm, and then undo those moves, and you've done it. However, for this situation, you can also use R2, B prime, R prime, B, R, F prime, U prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime. And also, if you wanted to move this piece from here to here, using the T prime, you'd have to do something like little L2, D prime, or D, sorry, L2, T perm, then undo the setup moves. Um, I'm screwed up somewhere. There we go. Or you could simply do the J perm, which is which. There's two commonly used ones. The one I use is R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F U R two U prime R prime U prime. You can also use R U two R prime U prime R U two L prime U R prime U prime L. Either one gets the job done. And the same works for this side. You can either do the setup move little L two D prime L two then T perm undo setup moves. Or you can just do the J perm, which the one I use is R prime L prime U two R U R prime U two L U prime R U and those same algorithms work for the corners. Like if you wanted to shoot the buffer piece to this position, you'd have to do R two D R two Y perm undo those setup moves, and it'd be right here. Or you could just use the J-perm, like that. And the same thing for this side, I don't think I have to go into that for you.